Okay, this is going to be another attempt to film the little fainting narcoleptic deer. Um, a lot of times he'll faint, or he'll faint, excuse me. Um, a lot of times he'll faint after he gets his bottle. So, um, you know, we'll see what happens. Um, meanwhile, you can see, I mean, he's a really healthy little uh, buck. He, uh, you know, has a really nice coat and nice, uh, not too skinny. He's lost a little weight since he's been here. Um, that's for sure. He's got sort of slightly moth-eaten almost appearance. That's the one thing that's sort of weird. See his little nose? It's sort of hard to see. Um, it, first I thought they were fly bites. I, I'm not so sure now. You can see like beyond the ears. Um, and it's also down on his uh, feet a little bit. Let's see. It's sort of dark, so it's sort of hard to see. Um, you can see there. Uh, I don't know what that is. I'm not really sure. But anyway. Really, like in good spirits, and he's, he's a sweet little guy. I mean, he gets all excited after he has his bottle, after he passes out. Usually, um, he seems to. I mean, I'm obviously not with him all the time. I try to spend like about at least I don't know, 20 minutes to half an hour for each feeding, um, and I've seen him pass out three times in that time. But a lot of times he won't pass out at all. So um, it's hard to predict for sure. But it always does seem to. I don't know. A lot of times it follows the bottle. And sometimes after the, uh, after I try to get him to eat some brows, which he's really bad at, which is weird because it's usually weird to say, let's love brows. Um, probably doing some editing of this clip because it may just be a lot of this kind of thing. Oh, baby boy. Oh, baby boy. Sorry for the background fan noise, it is hot and buggy, even in this room. It's my fawn enclosure at the moment. <laughs> Please donate so I can build an actual real fawn enclosure, and it's not just a playpen in my front front room of my house. Um, slowing down a little bit, huh? Slowing down a little bit. Such a good boy. Such a good boy. It's been really frustrating because he will not eat brows. He will not eat oats. We sit together and uh, I try to stick them in his mouth. <laughs> Oh, he's going to go. Here you go. Down. Oh, and back up. Back up. Oh. Like nothing ever happened. Huh? Do you just want some bottle? Oh, baby. He just is like a little bewildered for a few, like just a moment afterwards. And you know, then he's sort of back. Hi! Oh my! Oh my! Oh my! Oh my! No? Hmm? Okay. And not yet, just a little stretch. I'll probably go poop or something now. <laughs> but that's basically his story. So, I mean, you see, it lasts uh, five seconds. Um, and it's sort of hard to film so close to him, but it's really all I've got at the moment. Um, he collapses usually either onto his side, which he kind of did just then, or he crumples just front ways with his face just out in front. Um, but it's really hard to think about letting a little fawn go like that. I mean, he is so healthy and will jump around this room after he eats and get all excited about life and um, really wants to go outside, but I just... I just don't know about letting him go. Okay, see you later. <laughs> anyway, there you have it. Fainting fawn.